Greetings, everyone. Well, it's package opening time again. This is uh, another one that was sent to me ages ago, and I just didn't get around to doing until now. Um, so this time around, we've got one from This Hidden World, who, as you know, is a longtime viewer, has sent many awesome packages in the past. Um, he actually sent this to me around Halloween. I don't know if it's horror movies or or what have you. He just sends packages whenever, whether it's seasonal or not. They just happen to show up at seasonal times a lot of the time. Um, anyway, there was a bit of a, a bit of stress regarding this one because he sent it and it took a really long time to get to me to the point where we were both thinking it just got lost in the mail. And then one day, just randomly, it showed up. It was actually sitting by my door. So I don't know if a neighbor got it and forgot to deliver it to me or, or what the deal was. But... Um, it was a mystery. There was no customs stickers on it or anything um, to indicate delays in customs. It just took forever to show up. I have no idea why. And then, to uh, <laughs> add insult to injury, uh, I I've taken forever to get around to doing this package opening. So, terribly sorry, this hidden world. I appreciate your patience. He's asked me about it a couple times. He's like, Are you, did I miss the package opening? I'm like, no, 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 it's okay. I haven't done it yet. I was like, okay, okay, just let, I'll keep an eye out. So hopefully he hasn't been clicking refresh constantly on the channel, waiting for it, wondering if I'm ever going to do it. He's probably given up hope by this point. So terribly sorry, dude. It's entirely due to my own procrast procrastination. Anyway, let's not put it off any longer. Package from This Hidden World. Be sure to check out his YouTube page as well, by the way. Um, always lots of fun, and he does lots of reviews and updates and stuff too, and he's just generally a really cool guy. Uh, so let's see what he sent today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. Alrighty, so the months long mystery shall finally be solved and I'll see what it was he sent, whether or not it's horror stuff or or non-horror stuff, I don't know. I'm just going to open it down here because he's got addresses on both sides of the package and I kind of don't want to be uh, showing them all over the place. So, Alright, here we go. And he's got them... Ah, appears to have them individually wrapped. Alright, here we go. Let's see. Uh, notes inside discs. Okay. Hey Z, surprise! This hidden world. You see that? There we go. And notes inside discs. Yeah. <laughs> Who needs a proper piece of paper? We're just going to rip apart an envelope and write all over the bits and pieces. Works for me. Okie dokie. So this, oh, they're numbered, of course. This is number four. So we need to, uh, need to get them all out here and, uh,. <clears throat> See what we got. Okay, so I started from the wrong side. So we have number one. Here we go. Is it something scary or something random? Who knows? Let's find out. Oh, here we go. <laughs> we have Jaws 3. Excellent. The only Jaws I own at the moment is Jaws 1. I have the nice digibook that was released of it. So there we go. Very cool. And this also includes... The 3D version, that's that's very cool indeed. So which uh, is this? I'm assuming this is region free because uh, I see it is from abroad. It actually doesn't specify. Does it say? It says nothing about region coding. Okay, well I guess we'll find out when I pop it in the player. So note. Okay, 3D. Works great. <laughs> That's awesome. I will keep the notes that he sends in the discs with the discs, which I think is a good idea. So there you go. Yeah, so another one to enjoy whenever I get around to getting some kind of 3D display. All right, so next up we have number two, which is trying to escape. I can't see what it is. Apparently a hilarious blend of super bad and slap shot, whatever it is. Let's Let's find out here. We have, oh, Goon with Sean William Scott, Jay Baruchel, and Liev Schreiber. Oh, awesome. Very cool. Another another sports movie. He sent me some sports movies before, 
But uh, he knows I'm not big on sports movies, but he sends me ones that he feels are the exceptions to the rule and ones I should check out. And, uh, oh, Eugene Levy's in this, too. Very cool. So there we go. So we have Goon, which uh, also has the slipcover, which is very nice indeed. Same, basically the same cover on both. And the note, here we go. I know you don't like sports films, but it's ice hockey, eh? <laughs> <laughs> fine i'll be true to my canadian roots and stop being a traitor to my country and watch a movie about hockey <laughs> besides uh i do enjoy the Shri schreiber schreiber and uh, sean william scott i think they're both fine entertaining actors all right so next up we have number three let's see what we got here we have, oh, Anthony Edwards and Mayor Winningham, Miracle Mile. I have heard of this one. I don't know anything about it, though, just that I heard it was really good. This is from uh, 1989. Oh, it's another Kino Lorber one. Yeah, Kino Lorber's been putting out some great stuff. Um, very cool. Let's see what we got here. So, Miracle Mile, great sci-fi from the director of Cherry 2000. Sweet. Yeah, Cherry 2000 is one I've been meaning to pick up for ages. Um, I really enjoyed that one a lot, so I'm sure I will enjoy this one a lot as well. Thank you very much. Okay, and then finally, last but most certainly not least, number four. Let's see what we got here. Oh, hold on. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> you have been paying... that. This is hilarious. Because... Oh my god, okay. It's my bodyguard. Which is hilarious because I was talking about this in the Christmas 1981 with the McLeans. Which I posted like literally two months after receiving this package. And, and I was talking about how I really wanted to get the movie. And I may have mentioned it somewhere else. I don't know. But thank you so much. This is this is like a childhood favorite of mine. This is fantastic. Um, with a very young uh, Adam Baldwin as Linderman, the, the bodyguard. Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, as hope you haven't picked up this classic already. No, I have not. And uh, thank you so much. This is fantastic. No, I love this because as a kid uh, growing up, I was bullied a lot. So this to me was a wonderful revelation of a movie. Whereas basically this kid getting bullied and uh, he, I guess, takes his lunch money or what have you and hires a bodyguard. He, he picks this like really big, intimidating kid um, and hires him to be his bodyguard at school and protect him from the, the bullies, which is awesome. I love that. So thank you <laughs> god this is great i still have the novelization of this too and it's got uh, oh audio commentary with director tony bill and film programmer jim healy tv spots and original theatrical trailer awesome i may actually watch this tonight <laughs> well that is it ladies and gentlemen another uh package full of random goodness from this hidden world always seeking to expand my horizons with more sports <laughs> Oh, but seriously, thank you very much, dude. I really appreciate that. Um, definitely going to enjoy checking those out. All righty. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. So big thanks to you. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors. Be sure to join us on Discord for lots of uh, chat and shenanigans. You'll find the link in the description. And uh, I'll see you next time. So until then, sayonara.